Hey everybody and welcome to Planet Coaster 2. Eh, kind of a uh, last minute decision to check this one out. Uh, see what it's all about. So yeah, let's go ahead and dive in. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Do all this sort of stuff. And we're going to go into the career mode here. Play the prologue called First Drop. Let's start with keys to the coaster. Difficulty settings will stick with medium. Let's play. And again, if you're new, make sure to subscribe for more Planet Coaster 2, Rim World, all that sort of good stuff uh, as we move into this next chapter Why, of the channel. Hello there! I'm glad you could make it. I'm Oswald B. Thompson, the CEO of Coaster Coast. Oh, Oswald! I didn't realize we had a guest. I'm terribly sorry. It didn't come up on my schedule. Not to worry, Eugene. This is the person I was telling you about. You're looking at the successor of Coaster Coast. Well, providing everything goes smoothly, of course. I can't just hand them the keys to the kingdom now, can I, eh? <laughs> Goodness, I do apologize. I've just checked my roster, and there you are, right between King Coaster and Queen Splash. Not quite sure how I managed to royally mess that up, but never mind. You're accounted for now. Marvelous! Well, that's sorted. I think it's about time Eugene, our brilliant ride engineer, and I showed you the ropes. Consider this your official induction. There's a great big planet of potential parks out there, but you'll need to go through Coaster Coach's introduction first. Please keep your arms and legs inside this coaster of an onboarding at all times and strap in for some lessons in park management. Before we get started, we have a checklist of objectives from HR that we need to go through. I know, I know. But it's been company policy ever since one of our interns didn't know how to move around. We left them to it, only to find them in the same spot three days later. Well, oh, okay. That would be you, though. Let's try moving the camera around the park now. No, I'm just going to leave it here. I'm going to leave the camera here. No, I'm kidding. Rotate the camera. Okay. Zoom the camera. No, it's a I've big load there. That I think you'll enjoy. It's time to build your first ride. I'll hand you over to Eugene. He won Ride Engineer of the Year in 2016, so you're in good hands. I took the liberty of getting a ride ready for you to build. All you need to do is find a place to put it. Place a teacup ride. Create custom. Okay. Teacups. Generates 2.77, 2.6 fear, and 1.8 nausea. Nausea for me on this would be 10 out of 10. Splendid. Our guests will need a way to access the ride. So, let's add an entrance gate. You mean you can't just walk in there? You can just jump the fence? Honestly, I thought you could just jump the fence. Uh, we need to put it kind of close to the uh, road. Path. And with every that. entrance, we need... That's right, an exit gate. You guys can exit over here. You will need to connect a queue path to the ride entrance. Without one, guests will not be able to access the ride. We obviously won't need queues for guests leaving the ride. Could you imagine? <laughs> so you'll need to make sure you're connecting a standard park path to the exit gate. Ah, uh, jeez. Um... I, can I use the draw tool here? Um... We're gonna... We're gonna connect it here. Do that. I think that'll be fine. That's it! That's all the steps for building a ride. 
if you do need a handy little way to remember those steps, I used to remember it as beep. Building, entrance, exit, path. <laughs> Oh, that's actually and kind of. Don't forget to. That's actually kind it's of like also worth a thing to remember. Guests will have to pay for tickets to enjoy the rides in our parks. We control how much we charge, though. So let's encourage guests to ride our latest attraction by setting the ticket price to bargain for now. We can always increase the price later. As I like to say, when you achieve popularity. Charge premium for prosperity. But one step at a time, eh? For now, a very well done and a shiny medal earned. That's your first ride built, and I'm sure it'll be the first of many. Hey, we did it. That was actually really quick. The addition of a new ride will have given a slight boost to our park rating. Multiple different factors contribute to this rating, so you'll want to pay attention to the park rating overview. The better the rating, the more guests will visit. Ah, while driving the guest count up is good, we need to make sure the guests also remain happy while they're visiting. As you can see, we've just received a report that not all of the guests are enjoying themselves. It seems some are rather thirsty. To avoid this in the future, it's handy to keep checking on the Guest Needs tab. If things start dropping too low, you should step in and solve the issue before guests decide to leave. Let's start by quenching any thirst amongst our guests with a new drink shop. I hope that this drink shop is not going to take up all of this room. Okay, it's not. Really? Lattes is gonna be what we serve? Brilliant. Lattes is gonna now, be what we serve? Like, actually? Need somewhere to relieve themselves okay, we're doing this unironically. Why not build a toilet nearby? We wouldn't want our guests walking around with crossed legs now, would we? That isn't good for anyone's posture. What do we got on the menu? I, can I see the menu? Yeah, I'll take a number nine large with a medium fry. What do you mean you don't serve number nines? Fine. I'll just go... Ride the teacups again. <laughs> or that. Let's build a let's build a crapper. Uh right next door. Obviously. What you want to do is go get your latte and then immediately have scrap. Speaking of walking, guests will get tired pretty quickly and their energy will drop if they don't have a place to sit. We should make sure there are plenty of benches available. Think of them as Planconian recharging stations. They're even wireless. There's three benches. Okay, let me change the setting real quick. Where is it? Apply that. I don't want motion blur on. Never do. You can change the interface color. What? All right, that's dope. That is actually dope. Okay. That's dope. 
Place three benches. Create custom. You son of a bench I'm in. Only ten dollars for a bench? This must be a really good economy. Amazing work! The guests will be a lot happier now. However, it does come at a price. More food and drink in the park also means more waste. Exactly. So, it's important we have enough bins for people to properly dispose of their waste. There's a bin. There's a bin. And we're going to put the other bin somewhere else. Because that's too close to uh, have a lot of bins. Uh... There. Fantastic! That'll keep the park looking cleaner. We shouldn't stop there, though. Let's make the park look even better by adding some scenery around the ride you built. That way, guests can enjoy the view while they queue. <laughs> she likes rhymes. Blueprints. Can I snap this? No, I don't want to get, I don't want that underground. I want to snap this to the road. That there, and let's put this one. Where do we want to put this one? Actually, where do we... there's not a lot of room. You realize that you realize there's not a lot of room, right? Okay, hold alt, and we can toggle snap. Turn to browser. We're gonna get a statue of a uh, mythological god. We're gonna put him up here. I think that's everything checked off the scenery list. Well done. Wow, the park is looking great. I can see why Oswald picked you. You're a natural. Now, if we're to keep adding more rides or facilities, they need to be connected to the power grid. Select an existing generator to view its info panel and see how much electricity it's producing. As you can see, the generator is powering a network that covers the area filled with rides and facilities. Let's expand that network to cover an open area of the park. To do that, place and connect the additional power facility to the grid. Tweak to do power. I don't remember. I never really played. Um... I never really got to play. Um, Planet Coaster 1. There we go. Nicely done. 
It's all running very smoothly indeed. But to keep the generators maintained and working, you must hire mechanics. Without them, the generators will start gaining a condition penalty, which will decrease the power output. Oh, it seems we don't actually have any mechanics hired. Yeah, I've been walking well, around the park and I ain't seen no mechanics. Let's hire a few straight away. It may seem excessive, but they're essential when it comes to the maintenance of rides and facilities. One more setting change. Hire a mechanic. There you go. Do you want two mechanics? All right, I, I, I can give you two mechanics. Uh oh, I must have jinxed it. We've had a ride break down. Good job we have those mechanics to go and nurse it back to health. An available mechanic will automatically be assigned to fix a broken ride. However, if one is not available, you will have to select the dude, Call Mechanic dude. button to reassign somebody to the job. Be careful, though, as reassigning a I don't need time. I don't have time for a lecture. Dude, you no longer have the ride elsewhere. is literally on fire. Hiring staff is just the beginning, though. You also need to pay attention to staff morale. Are y'all not seeing the smoke? Too low, staff will start to quit their jobs. Brakes are Brother. absolutely essential when it comes to keeping staff it is literally on fire. And just like guests, our staff need a place to re-energize. To make all of their tired little dreams come true, you should place Brother. a staff building. Admittedly, they're not the most glamorous of buildings. So I'd advise you to place your staff building away from the guest areas, wherever they, possible. After they literally all, don't care. Want to bring down that Yo, uh, build so a staff building. Build I know that our Ferris wheels uh, control panel is smoking, but we need a staff building. Park staff have somewhere to go on their breaks and enjoy some peace and quiet. We just need to ensure our inquisitive guests don't go waltzing on in there for the free coffee, claiming to be lost. The best way to avoid this is by connecting an exclusive staff-only path to the building. Guests won't dare step foot on those tiles. Let's see, let's get out of this path. Staff path. We'll need there to build go. a mechanic workshop. Here, mechanics will generate research points that are used to unlock new items for your park. Can I line this up? I'd love to line this up. Boop. There we go. I think with that. Let's leave the mechanic We've to done it that. for now. We'll revisit this soon. Oh, what an exquisite sight. I... I think I need a moment. Oh, get some every time. Ah, One just more objective. in time. Our mechanic has earned enough research points to unlock something exciting. Let's take a look at the research tree and aim to unlock the coaster pack. It'll bring a tear to Eugene's eye. Uh, chain lift coasters. Research for 7200. Oh my! Oh, it's immediate oh research. My. Is that... Is that the one I was designing? The very same, lad! I was just about to make a start on it, but I tell you what, why don't you walk our new friend through it? 
It would be my pleasure. Now, this is just a little something I made earlier. <laughs> first things first, you'll need to select the blueprint. The Valeris and Nidwall and Floralis. Good, and place the coaster down wherever there is enough space. I rotate Z to rotate. Perfect. One important thing note here control. is that unlike flat attention. rides, coasters need to pass a safety test before they... While we wait for the test to finish, let's take the opportunity to add some scenery around the coaster. More scenery, all right. I mean, I, yeah, I was pressing control. We're gonna give you maneuver pillars on both sides. Kaboom, there we go. And then we'll give you a uh, statue in the corner. Or a fountain, that's a fountain. Put it near the uh, wooden logs. Oh, and remember to open the ride like you did earlier on. Testing incomplete. It also needs a road. You know, needs an exit, enter and execute. I feel like that's kind of a necessary. There's the enter queue. Is that the entrance? Is that the entrance? Oh, that oh, yep. is a beauty! Terrific work, you two. This is a coaster that truly deserves a place in the spotlight. So, how about we put together an advertisement to mark the occasion? An advertisement? Mm -hmm. Head to the advertising tab in the park management menu and let's show the world what the park has to offer. There aren't different audiences to cater for, however, so it's worth considering which advertisement will bring the most guests to your park. Yes, Oswald, we get it. You like advertisements. So While we're going to run an advertisement to start bringing in more guests for the next 118 Why don't you try hours. Out the ride camera and experience all the exhilaration the coaster will have to offer firsthand. Enter ride co uh, coaster camera mode. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot you could do this. I straight up forgot you could do this. Enough for the time being? That was like two seconds. <laughs> Thank you again for all your hard work. Coaster Coast is going to be in the best of hands, I can tell. I'm going to get the sandbox oh, and, make my, and drive not, my own coaster. You're not 
for as long as I want. I'm not going anywhere just yet, Eugene. Don't panic. We're just getting started. Dipping our toes in the... Actually, hold that thought. I've got just the job lined up for you. I'll send you the details. See you soon. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go and wrap up here. We're going to go to the main menu. And with that, we're going to go and wrap up. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you next time for some more Planet Coaster 2 here on the channel. Thanks so much for watching.